Hey guys and welcome to a free to play treasure scramble fire rotation part 2 7 teams edition guide. That's the name, that's what we're going with. Before I get into the guide though I do want to thank you guys for subscribing. Um, a lot of people subscribed after the uh, Nightmare Corridor video I did last week. Um, so I'm happy you guys liked it because I did put a little bit of research into that video as, as you might have been able to tell if you watched it. Now anyways let's get right into the treasure scramble now. I just ticked over to the seven teams now, so I'm going to show you guys my teams and then I'm going to show you a very well done uh, guide I found on the Discord server um, that can show you guys uh, what teams you can build if you don't have the same heroes that, that I do and different um, replacements for heroes that I use in my teams. Now, disclaimer for my teams. As I usually say, um, of course I'm a free to play player. Um, I have Belinda built and I have Awakened Solus built. Those are my two Awakened heroes and as such, I was able to put put together five solid teams for this round. Now, as you can see, the first team here is the dimensional team, which is just, you know, 80% is actually my best team and it's such a free to play friendly team. So I think big takeaway from this is uh, this team is just, it's kicking ass in the um, fire round, right? And I don't even have en engraving on um, Jennifer yet. Um, and also I'm gonna be able to upgrade this team uh, because later today we get access to Remen and Amelia finally. Now for the second team, this is the speed team, right? Where usually you would use Awakened Thane or Awakened Athalia to kind of rush in and kill the uh, heroes fast. And I, I have neither of those. However, Yorin actually, as you can see 43% win rate, gets it kind of done, right? He's fine. Um, I realized that this uh, screen cap doesn't show pets. So I'll go through the teams um, with the pets after I just uh, do the quick overview, right? The next team, standard Belinda team, right? Um, no uh, Olna, right? If Olna was in this team, this would also be an 80% win rate team. However, you need Olna to build this team or this team doesn't function at all. Um, and this is obviously the uh, the Awakened Baden team, but if you don't have Baden, Lucretia works as well. And if you don't have Lucretia, Gress works as well to varying degrees, right? But it's all about building actual solid teams and solid foundations and then slotting out what you don't have, but putting in replacements that also work uh, in the same kind of way. Now, <laughs> as you can see here, here comes my sixth team and I promise you my seventh team is not gonna be much better. Now for my fifth team though, here's a team that actually works, right? And that's the um, the Wilder, Solus, Kinesa and Rook Mishka team, right? Which is just the, the giga healing team um, with burn and CC and basically Solus just wipes the map with a Nevanthi E60 buff. Uh, and now for my last two teams, <clears throat> I will say that this team, I don't know if I had some unlucky attacks or maybe it's just because I, I'm a bit too high elo at, at this point, but this team is actually, I've seen this team at 30% win rate in previous rounds, in the previous round, right? Um, this team is completely doomed, as you can see, and I'm probably going to try and find a better team than this. But this was just kind of what I had slotted in from last time around. Um, but yeah, obviously, I wouldn't copy these two teams, but these five first teams are super solid teams that you can build. Now, quickly, before I go over to the guide, I do want to show you guys the pets, because I forgot that one time, and that was pretty cringe. Now, for the first uh, pet, we use the uh, Winged Lion, right? Just a basic damage buffing pet. Here you use the Owl to keep debuffs and buffs going. Uh, and also the, this team tends to group up very nicely within the Owl circle. For the Belinda team, obviously you wanna use the um, the Rock Lizard because he has the invulnerability, which allows the team to stall out and which allows Belinda to completely wipe everything off the map if she gets to ramp, which she does with that pet. Now here you use the, this is a bit more interesting. Also, I can see that my pets are wrong for the other teams, but for this uh, team, actually, you wanna use the Vespiro pet because it helps with the energy dra uh, draining theme of this pet, as you uh, of this team. As you can see, we have uh, Odin as an energy drain and we have Pharrell as an energy drain as well. Um, so this is a good pet here. I'm not aware what the minimum is. As you can see, I'm resonating nine on my pets, um, but I, I do believe it works at six as well. Now. For the next team here, I'm using the Fire Breather, and this is just to add extra damage and also potentially extra CC if uh, you're facing uh, Graveborn or Hypogen heroes, I believe it is. Um, and also it just, it helps with the invadish kind of theme of this team, right? These two heroes jump in, these guys heal, and this one just supports the, the engaged part of the team. Now for this team, I can see that I have the Fire Breather. Now, I know if you have Brutus built, uh, I'll show you guys what this team is based upon, right? But I know Fire Breather is the best Brutus pet, but obviously my Brutus is not very built, as you can see, he's only legendary. So probably I would be better by throwing in either the whale or something else in here. I should have experimented more with that, but 
I've kind of given up on this team, honestly. And then for the last team, this is definitely incorrect. I don't know if it changed my pets when I when we swapped stages. And I also believe that this team is actually not the way I'm, I'm usually setting them up. Because usually I have the Siren here, something like this. Um, and then the Whale is good because it's kind of a stallish team, right? With the Siren bruises. And, and the Whale is just a pet that you want to use. Now, another thing I know is a good team is you can use Thorin and you can use Flora. Um, kind of building a stall team with a whale where the whale is the dps i'm just going to change that for now but now you have got now you guys have shown or you guys have seen my pets so there so i at least remember that this time around now another thing i just quickly want to show you guys is my rank as you can see i'm in the top one percent however as always this depends on what region you're in for my region it's not super whale heavy so i'm actually able to you know as you can see i'm not going to make it to the top 100 which is usual but Top 1%, we take those as a free-to-play player. Now, enough of my teams, right? You guys have seen my teams, but honestly, seeing my teams is less important than what comes next, and that is this. The Neuromancer Discord, or the Neuromancer Guild, has blessed us, guys. I don't know if anyone is leaking these guides, um, but we have access to another one, an, an updated seven teams guide from the Neuromancer Discord server. And the Neuromancer Discord, uh, not the Discord server, sorry, the Neuromancer Guild. Um, and the Neuromancers, if you don't guys don't know them, they're a very, very highly built, very respected um, guild in AFK Arena, and they have a lot of top PvP players in it. Um, for example, if you guys know Big Mac, he's one of the Neuromancer people. And the guide is made by Lap Long Lang. So thank, thank you. All credits go to this guy, right? He does amazing work. And this is the best PvP guide that's out there for the Treasure Scramble Fire Rotation. By far. Trust me, I have looked at a lot of them. And also, it's in English, right? Um, usually the good uh, guides are in Chinese, but here we can actually read it. I don't know if it's translated, though. There's a chance of that. Anyways, as you can see, the guide follows a pretty flow chain. Float? Oh, my cursor was missing, but yeah. Basically, it says up here uh, who made the guide. Um, the guide follows a flowchart, right? It's a pretty simple flowchart. If you have no Awakened Belinda, you go down this route. If you have Awakened Belinda, but you have no Matria, you go down here. And if you have Awakened Belinda, but you have also have Matria, you go down here. And this is basically the best in slot teams, right? The super whale teams uh, that you guys and I are not going to be able to build because we don't have all the Awakened heroes now. For me, I'm just going to go, like, I'll zoom out a bit scroll so you guys can check out uh, the routes that you would want to take but i'm going to go through it's not actually super uh different based on what heroes you have um but i'm going to go through the, the the ones that i uh the, the guide that i follow right because i don't have matria but i have awakened belinda and i would guess that most people i i, I don't want to say should have awakened belinda but it's definitely the best awakened hero so you should work towards building Awakened Belinda. So this guide would probably be the most um, well-rounded one. So for the first team, this is where I use my dimensional team, right? And as you can see here, the dimensional team, interestingly enough, doesn't have the variation that I use um, because this team is completely taken over by Rim and Emilia. Now, obviously, for obvious reasons, I don't have Rim and Emilia, and most of you guys don't because uh, you can only get them tomorrow, right? Which is when uh, the Treasure Scramble ends. But it's good to know that these uh, two heroes are best in slot for this dimensional team comp. Uh, and definitely you want to build out Rem and Emilia once you can access those. But as you can see, the replacements is basically just all the other dimensional heroes. Um, for the second team, pretty cookie cutter. It's the exact same team that I use. It's the Belinda team. There are no replacements. It's all, it all comes down to if you have Belinda or if you don't have Belinda. If you don't have Belinda, you can't build the team. Now for the third team, this is the speed Rush team that I uh, that I also use, but I use uh, Yorin instead of uh, Awakened, uh, well, Awakened uh, Thane or Awakened Athalia. And actually, Yorin isn't listed as a sub here. But as you can see, when you go down this um, this list, this is not the most uh, free to play friendly replacement list, right? We have one, two, three Awakened heroes follow up by one, two, three Celestial Hybridians, and then Odin. Um, so yeah. I think my variation is probably more free, to, or it definitely is more free to play friendly, but this is obviously the best in slot variation if you guys can build that. Um, now for this team, it's the same team that I used, right? It's the uh, the Olna and the Awakened Baden team. Um, and it also uses Lucretia as a replacement, right? Which is the exact same that thing I did. Interestingly enough, it doesn't list Gress as a replacement. Um, 
I do believe Grist works if you don't have Lucretia, but chances are if you have Grist, you also have Lucretia because she's one of the highest priority hypergens to build uh, on an account. And as you can see, it wants to use Mulan. I don't have Mulan. I don't have Mulan's nine furniture, which is the most important part. And as you can also see here, it tells you if you don't have Mulan at this uh, build, right, pretty build out, then just use Odin for Realm Horses. Um, and for me, I don't have uh, Athalia, normal Athalia either. So I just use uh, both Pharrell and Odin instead of these two heroes. Now for the fifth team, this is what I was talking about kind of when I went through my teams. Um, this is, it's not the Thorn team. It's not the whatever Flora, no, it's the whale team, the pet team, the seal team, sorry. I keep calling this pet the whale because that's kind of an intern joke I have, um, but it's actually called the seal. But yeah, it's the seal team. Basically, you just draft all the stall you could all uh, you could ever imagine, right? Thorin, two lives, cheat death, immunity, Flora, Flora, impossible to kill. This guy lives after he's dead, right? Resurrects. This guy brings damage reduction. This guy frontal damage, immunity, right? Basically, you just stall the team, and you hope that your seal kills the enemy team. Now, for this team, this is the um, Brutus team that I kinda was trying to build, but as you can see. I'm missing a lot of heroes. Probably you guys might be missing a lot of these heroes as well, especially Frampton. But if you have Brutus built, obviously you would be able to make this team, right? And if you don't have Frampton, you just slot one of the replacements um, with the um, Fire Breather. Um, now, interestingly enough, I used the Fire Breather in this team, right? Um, now, for this team... <laughs> God. Treasure Scramble is becoming, or just PvP in general, or the, the five team game modes are becoming more and more... I guess cringe for free to play players because you see multiple teams that just use multiple awakened heroes, which is completely unfeasible as free to play players. And it's, it's honestly a bit sad, right? Because of the, um, the amount of time gazer cards we get, like it's not feasible for us to even have, you know, near this many awakened heroes and it's only going to get worse, but hopefully uh, Lilith comes and rescues us. Um, I've suggested a, um, a discount on older awakened heroes uh, for example uh, maybe after a year you get them for half the price right that could be a thing to do because all the whales would build them anyways on release and then that would allow us free to play players although at a heavy disadvantage we would just wait a year and then be able to build them but something has to be done if they keep releasing these every two months but yeah that was a little <laughs> side note sorry for the ramble um, as you can see it's the same team that I use. It's the Solus Nivanthi um, Palmer team, right? The healing team with Kinesa and Rook and then some Stall in the front line and Solus just wipes everything out, right? And then, um, wow, my, my scroll wheel is actually broken. I just realized. Um, this is not really relevant, right? If you have or all Gath E60, team two can be this and team four can be this, but let's be honest, no one has all Gath E60. Um, at least <laughs> not if you're a smaller account like us. So this is the best guide. You want to try and build as many of as many teams as you can from this guide. But if you can't build seven good teams, don't stress it. As, as like I showed you, I have five good teams, right? And I'm in the 1%. Now, obviously, if you're on a harder server, five, five teams is not going to cut it. But if you're in an easy server, right, one of the newer servers, um, Information like this could help you get a leg up on, on the competition, right? And then maybe even if you can build three solid teams, that might be enough to just kick you into the top 1%, maybe even the top 100, depending on how weak your region is. Now, this is pretty much what I wanted to go over uh, for the guide, because there are multiple guides, right? I went through multiple guides when making my team teams, but when this released, I just have so much faith in this guide that this pretty much just dwarfs all the other guides. Now, before I go, all right, so blue stacks just crashed. But uh, before I, I, I went, I wanted to shout out the uh, FK Arena to crowdsource in Discord uh, real quick before I uh, end my video. And basically, well, as you can see, I'm currently at the Temporal Rift tab, um, but I want to shout out the, um, the Treasure Scramble Fire screenshot. Um, Part of this uh, Discord server, or just, just this Discord server in general, right? I shield it in all my videos. This is where I find most of my information. It's a it's a good community of people who really want to help you guys uh, improve at the game. And also um, just, you know, through a collective mind um, and through collective uh, knowledge, just improving everyone who's a part of the community's uh, result in the different game modes and then the Bissell Expedition, so on and so forth. So. Can't shout these guys out enough. 
that's it for my video. I'm sorry for the, uh, <laughs> I don't know where my recording crashed, but somewhere it crashed. So there's probably going to be some sort of, I don't know, abrupt uh, mis mix up or ending in the video. And I, I apologize for that. But I hope you guys uh, could find some information that uh, was usable um, in my video and uh, take care.